Testing, testing. Is this thing on? This is my attempt to revive my YouTube account, which I have left stale for, yeah, a year. To be fair, the first video, I'm such a tool. I made a video last January or February where I said, I'm back. I'm gonna be posting more makeup content and who disappears for a year? But I can't let that stop me from trying to revive my account again and start posting consistently. To be fair, COVID did happen one month after I said I was going to start posting. And then a lot of stuff happened in my life and I, you know, didn't treat this with a priority. It's been a fun time for me. I am now single uh, from a 10-year relationship and I live alone with my three cats. I have turned into a walking, talking cliche. And here we are. <laughs> trying to figure life out at 32 years old. Maybe I'll make a separate video about it, but basically going through a whole life change right now. And um, I enjoyed making content when I did. I don't know why I stopped, but today I am going to be showing you how I did this to my face. I feel like since I have last posted, I've completely kind of changed my makeup routine, mainly because my skin has changed. It's gotten a lot more dry. I've had to do a lot more things kind of as I get older. And I wanted to film a video just on my updated kind of glam look. This isn't an everyday look necessarily. I mean, I wear this look kind of every day, but this is just a, a glam if you're feeling like getting pretty. I apologize in advance if this video isn't very clean and my explanations aren't that great. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, but here we are. I'm gonna make makeup content on YouTube. I'm gonna be more consistent about it. I am starting to set a schedule for myself, so bear with me. Thank you for being patient if you have followed me from the beginning. I also hope my lighting and my sound is okay. If it's not, if you see something that bugs the crap out of you, feel free to let me know. Feedback is always welcome, always appreciated, and I love just interacting with you guys, so feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know if I could be of service in any way, shape, or form. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. I will talk to you guys later. Do the tape. I guess we're just gonna get started. Nothing has changed in my eye primer routine at all. I've been using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer forever, and I refuse to change this routine. I don't know why. You know, what I have been doing is I've just been, I don't know. I've been using less eyeshadow, less colors. I also feel like my glam has just been a little bit toned down. And you know, that's okay. I go, I go hard where it matters. And now I'm going in with Max Soft Brown. This is just a beautiful transition shade that I always use all over my eyelid before I do anything else. And just kind of, I start lower and then as the product it's put on my eye, I move it upward. Okay, now I'm going to use, I haven't used this palette in a while, the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I'll probably honestly mix a little bit of Grateful and Homebody. And I just put it a little, just kind of in my crease and then below. I don't go higher than this normally. Just get that color on there. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of Swiss chocolate, but any kind of, you know, reddish brown will do. I know I use a lot of different eyeshadows from different brands all over the place, but the way I do makeup is just very much, I kind of use the same colors. If you can kind of match the same colors, I really don't think it'll matter. I think playing around with different shades is the fun part for me. So I try not to like be so heavily focused on the actual product of eyeshadow that I use, if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner of my eye. Again, just to get some product on there. I kind of create a sideways V shape. I normally use a little bit of tape too. You know what? I'll probably just put some tape on so you can see how I use it because it's a very kind of foolproof way for making a clean line and guiding yourself with the eyeliner afterwards. I put the tape on my hand first like this and then put it on. It's just... You know, with scotch tape, it shouldn't really be applied to your eyes. I know it's a terrible habit, but 
Papas, can you stop scratching stuff? And then I'm going to take the same brush that I put the soft brown on, put a little bit more soft brown on, and then I'm just gonna start blending that out and blending it in and I'll up. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Embark, which is a very just like chocolatey brown, and put this on the absolute very corner of my eye. Just a little bit. This is a more dense brush, just so I can like more precisely pack in that color. And then again, same process. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that soft brown and just kind of start, you know, blending again. And then I will take a more synthetic, you know, a little bit more of a smaller brush just to kind of really blend out areas that need blending. And, you know, this kind of eye look that I do, I guess the basic rule of thumb that I usually just have in mind is just go from lighter to darker. Um, with this look specifically, you can do them with any types of colors or shades. Just keep them within kind of the same undertone range, if you will. Okay, now I'm going to use this Makeup Geek Afterglow pigment. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I This is one of my favorite pigments ever. I've used this on brides for weddings. I've used it for photo shoots. It's just a beautiful color. A little goes a long way with this product, and I'll show you why. I'm just taking a very small, kind of fluffy brush, dipping it in, no other product on it, and watch how much you need. I mean, can you see that? Like a little bit goes a seriously long way. Now, if you want a more wet look, you can always just put a little Fix Plus on your brush and then dip it in the pigment and apply it and it looks beautiful. This video is gonna be so far from perfect. I'm just letting you know right now. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things with filming and whatever and so I think I'm just gonna try and go with what I have and just continue. I can already just, I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to filming and editing and sound and everything else that I overthink freaking everything and I'm just, I know I'm not gonna post it if I'm too OCD about it, so I'm just gonna keep going. Oh my God. You can probably tell <laughs> I use this a lot. Again, this is another Mac product, but I also like the, is it the one size point made bodacious black smoldering eyeliner. I love both. And I'm going to just put this on the outer half of my eye, a thin line, not a lot is ne needed, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to take Embark, which is with that dark chocolate brown on a flat angle brush. And we are going to start to slowly just Move it inward. And it'll start to create a very nice smooth line. I've been straying away from winged liner. I don't know why. Again, I think I'm getting older and maybe I'm outgrowing it, but. And now for the fun part. Here's where I've switched up a lot over the last couple of years. I have been struggling so much in the past like year or two with just dry skin and foundations and finding the right one. One thing I've found that has really helped in my foundation routine is just to moisturize and finding the right moisturizer, eye cream for concealer. I will explain this all as I go through, but just note, um, I tend to have dry skin and over time I was finding that my foundation was getting splotchy when it never got splotchy before. Like I think my skin was just starting to change and so I've had to accommodate that as I've gotten older. So here we go. Um, I start, 
I love this. I love this product so freaking much. I don't know why. It's the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. And first of all, watermelon's my favorite fruit and it smells so good, but it just, they have a sleeping mask as well that makes my skin just glow. And I swear, it's my only nighttime routine. Not right now, I'm PMSing and my skin looks terrible, but it has helped so much in just clearing up my skin. I swear that's the product that did it for me. And then for concealer, one thing that I've made a big change in my under eye routine, this baby, Eye cream generally, it doesn't have to be Tatcha. I just like the Tatcha eye cream. You can use any other eye cream, but if you are struggling with creases or just cakey concealer generally, this might be your problem. Since I've been putting eye cream on, it has made such a big difference in my under eye concealer. So like I said, I've been struggling a lot with dry skin and I started using this and holy crap, it has completely changed my foundation. It sinks into the skin better. It's just all around an amazing product. I also like the Aqua Bomb Serum. Maybe I'll link it down below because I can't find it and I don't know the official name. So I will take this. I, <laughs> I'm generous with this product a little bit because I love it so much and because it really just soaks up into my skin, gives my skin so much moisture and it just helps with the longevity of my foundation. Just make sure I really get that product into the skin. I will also get some on my neck. So lately with my foundation, I've actually been mixing a couple of them. I don't know why, I play with a lot and this is just the combo that I've been using and I like it. So I take the Makeup Forever. I should have let that dry a little bit more. Um, okay, we're gonna use a fan really quick. I bought this from Amazon and I freaking love it. It's good enough. I just take a little bit of it and I've been using a mixture of the Shiseido, Shiseido, I always say this name wrong, Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. This is the shade Maple. I'm using a mixture of this and the Dior Skin Forever Foundation in 3N. You can use one, you can use the other, you can use both. I like to just test out different products that work for me and mix and match. And this is the combination that I've been enjoying so far. We're just gonna mix these babies. Sometimes I like to just put it on with my finger and then blend it out with, I got this beauty blender from Sephora and it's great. Mainly because I like these structured outer edges. So for baking, uh, I just, I'm kind of a fan of it. And I will just start working it into the skin. This just gives my skin, especially with this foundation, a nice kind of radiant glow. I'm a huge fan of just how it sticks into my skin. It doesn't get cakey, you know? It's become my new favorite. This foundation is also very buildable, so you can start off with less and just build as you go. I find like that's the best way I like to do makeup is just to start with less and build as you go along because you can always add more. You can, it's way harder to just take away once you've already applied, you know? And I will straight up just beat my face until I'm exhausted. So if you've been following me for a while, I've always used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and it has been my favorite concealer ever. I've switched it up and I'm actually kind of digging this Born This Way, can Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And uh, I'll show you why. I take essentially a paintbrush, like a art paintbrush that I got from Amazon. I got a bunch of these brushes for body painting. And I actually just, I really love this technique. We're just gonna put it on the outer corner. Now, you might need to not put as much concealer on your eyes, but because I have those bags, I feel the need to kind of get the full coverage underneath my eyes. I'm not as 
much of a natural beauty as some of these other people that <laughs> are like, you only need to put so much right here and right here. And I'm like, no bitch, I need to put as much as I can. Put a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. And then I'll let that sit while I do my contour. Now for the contour. I'm gonna go and use cream contour today and I've been using this Graftobian contour highlight palette. It's so awesome. Um, comes in a range of shades for my contour today. You can tell which ones I use the most. I broke my thumb by the way. Um, I'm gonna be using these two and I'm going to take like a, a, you can take any blush brush just to make sure you get the color on. So I will usually just start right here. It also depends on your face shape and then I will do my chin as well underneath just to kind of give shadow to structure my face. And then I'll do up into my forehead region. And this again is just a packing color for now and then we are gonna go in and blend. So now I will take this and we're just gonna start blending. Now beat that face. And we're just going to try and blend up as much as possible and just get this product into the skin nicely. If anybody has been watching my videos, you know I typically use a lot of powder and really don't go with this method a whole lot. And I've actually been enjoying the results of using this. It just, I feel like my skin doesn't look as cakey. It's just been looking a lot nicer, glowier. How much concealer have I gotten into my hair? We'll go up into here. I also forgot to do this kind of just take the remnants of what I had and kind of put a little bit on there. Let's try and just blend this all together as nicely as we can. And if necessary, I will go back in with some more of the cream and blend it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now the one key I have found to be absolutely necessary in my concealer is setting it right away. So I'm going to take this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and immediately set my under eye because if I don't, that is where I will start to crease. This is my biggest problem by far and this is the easiest way I have found to rectify it. And I'll put some on my nose, my smile lines. I don't personally, especially because I have dry skin, see a difference in waiting or letting this bake, I immediately take it off. Okay, now for my under eye, I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Texture and Soft Brown on a buffer brush. And then on a flat definer brush, I will be taking that Swiss chocolate and putting this on the outer half corner of my eye. Kind of pack that color in. And then taking the buffer brush with no additional product on it and just kind of buffing it out again. And that's pretty much it for all I'm gonna do under my eye today. And now I will be taking this Benefit Hula Bronzer in the jumbo size. And the jumbo size is so amazing. Less product is more, and I'm just gonna be... And putting some on my neck, I just feel like this just makes everything kind of transition easier and matching my neck shade. And then I'll go in with blush. Today I'm gonna to be combining two different NARS shades. This is Deep Throat 
and Orgasm X. And I thought for the longest time that Orgasm X was a little bit too bright, but then I had realized I had to let it kind of sit and soak into my skin and then it wasn't as bright um, because I'm, I'm pretty not that tan all the time. And again, it looks super bright now. It will get less extreme over time. For highlighter, I got a new Pat McGrath highlight powder palette. And it's beautiful. And I'm gonna be using the middle shade. It fell out already, so. I am going to be baking my cheeks just because I like to. It also kind of sets the foundation because this is a pretty glowy foundation, the combination of the ones I used. And so I like to just set the bottom a little bit and then immediately brush it off. And then once that's all done, I will take a clean brush and just kind of blend all of these together. Okay, just to save time, I'm just gonna do my brows and then I'll be right back. If you want a brow tutorial, let me know, yeah? Okay, now we're gonna do mascara. I bought the Damn Girl Too Faced mascara. I bought the mini version because I wanted to try this out. Let's see how this goes. Today's lashes are not really, you know, super special. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies, and I love them so much. And I'm gonna be putting a little bit of the Duo. Here we go. And the key that I found fun with these lashes to making it super easy is I'll let this dry just a little bit. I'm gonna use this fan again. And I will literally take this and dot it on the outer corner of the eye where I'm gonna put it. And I'll dry this for like 30 seconds before applying it and then Okay, I'm gonna fix my hair and then I'll be back. And we're back. What eyeshadow is this? I'm not even sure. It's called Buxom. And this I am literally putting on my finger, on my ring finger, and putting it on the outer corner of my eyes. And it, I swear, this little teeny tiny trick makes the world of a difference in my entire makeup routine and a little bit on my nose. Hey, hi. It looks really bright on camera. It is not that bright in person. Um, Lady, you're killing me. I'm gonna go in with my Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I hope you can't hear my cat purring incessantly. And I'm going to just put this on my lower lash line. I put very little. Maybe not on that side. Okay, now I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Lip Pencil in the shade. What shade is this? 604 Up and Down Tan. This is a very nice kind of, like my lip shade, just a little bit darker. Do I want to add anything? I kind of like this lip shade as it is. If anything, I'll probably just add a clear gloss to it, and then I will set everything with my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, um, which I already did off camera accidentally. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked it. Give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as we try to regrow my YouTube account. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great day. Stay positive, stay kind. Love you. Talk to you guys later. Bye.